Could it be I'm falling in love with you, baby? All right, Goob, here's what you do. Before we officially start the show, I want you to go on to our Facebook page. Yeah. And I want you to hit the share button. Oh, Suki and Scott how do I show do that? How do I get and hit the share button? Okay. You know do that. You can minimize the show. I won't lose you. Uh, Go on and hit share. Okay. Everybody's loading up. The okay. fans are loading in. I'll okay. tell you who this beautiful young lady is on the on the other side of the uh, boxes. And Scott, did you show. do it? Can you? I'm just trying I'm to. Doing, all right, wait a minute. Yeah. I got it. And then yeah. now what? I now hit it. Hit share and post. Hit a, hit a little post. <laughs> See post like you're posting on your page. So all um, you gotta do said search posts. Oh no, Jesus. We, listen, this is only an hour show. <laughs> you gotta um, we didn't practice this part. Come on, you just hit share and then hit post. That's all you gotta do. Uh yeah. Did the thing come up? Can your husband help you? Out? Show. I see it. I see oh, it. Do you see us rolling? You see our show? Uh, no, no, uh, okay. details. we just blocked a All right. connection. Why don't we do this? Why don't we skip yeah. it? Have Bob go on to your Facebook on his phone and let that's him, the way to him, do it. Let him okay. share it. All right. Oh, I just lost the ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> all right. Now I'm by myself again. Um, hold on. Let me get her back on. We didn't officially start the show yet, everybody. Oh, there she is. She's back. You know, Listen, you needed to waste some time. So this is a, a this is a professional broadcast. I can't have you <laughs> pop in and out of the show. What I'm are you still, doing? This is uh, about the extent of my ability right here. This ladies and here. gentlemen, unlike last night, I have a co-host tonight as everybody starts to log on. Uh, Naomi Di Clementi is a, 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 my buddy, my pal for decades. We're going to tell you all about it. We've got the spinners coming up tonight. We've got, um, listen to this, Naomi. What? We yes. are going across the world over by the Indian Ocean. William Watt is a mentalist and a magician extraordinaire. The guy lives on an island in the Indian Ocean. He's like nine hours ahead of us. Amazing. So it's about four o'clock in the morning, his time. He's coming on with us after the spinners. He's going to blow us away. Uh, hoping maybe Jake Thistle stops by again from last night to play a couple tunes. He blew us away with some Jackson Brown stuff. But we got the spinners coming up. Naomi's in the hot seat for the next uh, tonight, tomorrow, and all next week. Uh, you ready to rock and roll, babe? I'm ready, babe. Or right, goose, as I used to call you. <laughs> all you have to do is say three, two, one, and we start the whole thing. Okay. Three, two, one. The Suki and Scott Show. This is one of the funnest shows I've ever done. <laughs> When you're with me, I'm smiling. It's musical. It's magical. Suki and Scott, the seven of hearts. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I never yeah. see this is a sexy show. Someone's getting some action. Now, these larger than life personalities are on an exciting new journey as they bring you the Suki and Scott Show. You guys I nailed it. You're great. You ask great questions. You listen. I answered you because I have respect for you guys and it was a question respectfully put. The Suki and Scott Show is your one-stop destination for humor. You like De Niro and Kate Pierre. Counselor! Entertainment. Just Just these girls. Girls. Wonderful! Can you paint with all the colors of the wind? <laughs> and optimism. You guys have such amazing energy. Ultraviolet light, it gets in there and it just fights. It just fights the uh, gun flu. Is that right? Okay. <laughs> Let's laugh together. I love him. The Suki and Scott Show. I'll keep working my way back to you, babe. With a burning love. Hey, pro my producer, yes. Bob Tell Salvatore. Me. Tell me, is Bob helping you out, for God's sake? Well, but we thought we hit the right buttons, but did I not? No. No, I don't know. I don't know what you did. I don't know if you, if you shared it, you didn't share it. But listen, Naomi D. Clemente in the house with us tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We got the spinners coming up in just a minute. Henry, William, Jesse, the guys are waiting for two more to log on. Suk, it's uh, Suk. I'm going to call you Suki half the night because I'm 
Gonna Let me just it. say, I'm honored to be sitting in for Suki. She is amazing, beautiful, and you guys are such an awesome team and have such a great show. And this truly is a privilege uh, to be sitting yes. here in her seat. So thank you, Suk. Thank Naomi, you, Scott. <laughs> do you know how many people get to sit in that seat over the course of the year? Maybe two. No, <laughs> not even. Three, Listen, not even. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you who my good buddy Naomi Di Clemente, Salvatore Rodriguez, O'Hanlon is. Um, <laughs> I don't believe is, I have any of those names. No, either. no, it's just yeah. it's just yeah. Di Clemente slash Salvatore. But if yeah. you live in the New York area, Naomi yeah. Di Clemente was a she was part. See, back before satellite radio, and back before internet stuff, Naomi was part of a huge morning show, and I think she may have. You, you, you keep freezing up a little bit. Um, oh. She was part of a huge morning show uh, here in New York. And when you were part of a morning show like that here in New York back in the day, you got some pretty amazing celebrity guests coming into that show uh, right in the middle of town. So I grabbed a couple pictures. Like, for example, here's a little Phil Collins. You Look at you and Phil Collins. Honestly, I mean, look how close we were. I didn't even realize that I was like next to such a huge celebrity at the time. He he came on Thanksgiving Eve and we brought live turkeys into the studio that day. You could have been one of his wives for God's sake. I could, could have really been. Could have. I think he's having some trouble with, with one of them right now. Um, but anyway, I love him. She's coming on tomorrow night, by the way. I, I know. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. Wanna, look at you, Kenny Loggins right there. You know what? An, one of my idols. Love how, Kenny Loggins. How old, how old are you in this picture? Probably 26 or 27. This was the 90s. And I started at PLJ in 1991 and left in 99 when I got pregnant with my first guy, Nick. So anyway, but this was later. This was more like 19. A little Olivia Newton-John. Huh? You're the one that I want. Well, another idol. Let's get physical. <laughs> physical. And Let's see, who else? Who else you okay. got this? Suzanne Susan. Summers. Have you looked at her lately? She looks yes, she, she's she, unbelievable. She's like she's pushing all those potions or whatever that super young. I um, saw an Instagram. I had put an Instagram up a couple of weeks ago with her and her granddaughter, and she she looked just as sexy as her granddaughter. I mean, it was so unbelievable. Beautiful. She's taken very good care of herself and she believes in like holistic and all natural stuff. And, and I think she's a great example of how that really works. So she looks great there. But that was, again, early on. That was like 93. That's oh, you, a little, little Kenny G Kenny action, G. right? I know uh -huh. people give him such a hard time like he's not a real jazz artist. But he really is, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> he really is. Um, but that hair. Uh, and he looks pretty good today. I did look him up recently. He uh, He's aged like all of us, but he looks good. And I guess he's still playing. This was... Oh, this was class. Rod Stewart. This is unbelievable. I didn't even know you were this famous. When Rod came in, this was like, he came on the show several times. And probably like the third time he came in, he was toasted. He was out all night. And of course, our show starts at six o'clock. And I think yeah. he came at like 7 a.m. or 7.30. And he's got his sunglasses on. He's like, hey, man, you know, it's like they were just out to lunch. But but a great guy. I mean, the coolest. Look at Rod Stewart. Doesn't get better than that, um, right? And then, and then finally, I had to bring up these guys, oh, the Cassidy no. boys. Look at this. Sean, yep. Sean and his brother, of course. Which one did you like better? Do you know? Well, uh, listen, I have David Cassidy. I knew for, I think I love you. Love you. So I am I so Yeah, um, of course. The and best. Sean Cassidy from uh, the Hardy Boys, right? The Hardy Boys. But I was more a David Cassidy girl, you know? Um, Naomi, yeah. are you? Uh, I, I've got some. I've got some big guests for you tonight. I've you got do? Some pretty big guests. Yeah, we've I know. had some. I'm we've excited. had some pretty, pretty legendary folks on this show. Uh, none more legendary than the Spinners. Honestly, uh, I mean, uh, listen, 60, 60 years. Uh, this group has been going. There's been a lot of changes. Some guys, unfortunately, have passed away. Uh, Henry is still the sole. He's the sole survivor from the mm -hmm. original group. Uh, mm -hmm. I think we have uh, three of the guys with us tonight: William Watt, Jesse Peck, uh, and Henry. And we're gonna we're gonna bring those guys in in a second. I'm, uh, listen, I hope I hope one of them's ready to sing some tunes <laughs> because I I've been I, all day long. I've been working my way back to you, babe. It's a shame. Now the way you mess around with your man. Right? Oh my God! There's so many songs. Um and um. 
Hey, y'all, prepare yourself for the rubber band. band. I, I've been like researching all their music, but I love them. I mean, Motown was my favorite. And that's, I want to get up and dance. I'm glad that I, you know, don't have to really show you the bottom half of my outfit so I can't really dance. But I wish I could dance with them today. Yeah. I have a Speedo on right now. That's why we're on the show. Yeah, <laughs> you don't even realize. That's yeah. frightening. I'm not you sure never, I want to see, see it. I don't Are you uh, you ready for the spinners? I'm going to give you a little. I'm going to give you a little taste from one of their one of their recent concerts, okay. and I'll bring the guys in on the other side. All right, well. hit me with. It. guys in hold on let's get everybody in here oh one there second. they are hold on. Let's this hey. there go. hold on we need uh we need ronnie there's ronnie how are you ronnie kid and uh who did we lose we had uh <laughs> cj we had, we had um somebody else was in there i lost them mm. oh all right no sorry so jesse henry and ronnie Right. Um, uh, how you guys doing, Ronnie? How are you, you? Ronnie? You look Thank like you, you, got, you, you look like this little head down there. Do you want to? <laughs> can you bring your? <laughs> there you go. Hey, welcome, you go. welcome. Do you realize how like blown away we are by talking to you tonight? Because you are honestly some of the most incredible performers, singers. Motown is my favorite, and I just want to just sing with you all night. I just want wow. to, I, I kind of just want you to stay here with us tonight for the whole night. Uh, who, <laughs> yeah. so who we who we missing? We're missing Marvin and uh, and CJ. Yeah, yeah. Mar Marvin just had his uh, COVID injection, so, <laughs> so he's uh, still under the weather. He's, you know what? You know what comes with that for some of us. And uh, CJ should be on right now. I don't know why. Yeah. It's not Okay, yeah. and I don't, I don't see, uh, I don't see CJ in there. But uh, listen, yeah. fellas, it's, it's an honor to have you on. Uh, you know, we we've had, uh, I mean, we had Tower of Power on a couple weeks ago, awesome, uh, and and so many groups of that nature. And it's just, it's so cool to just see, you know, sixty years later, you guys are still out there doing it. Uh, the group yeah. is still. I, I know there have been a lot of changes, but uh, listen, Henry, I'll start with you, man, since you're, you know, you're from the original group. Uh, right. You know, this thing kicked off in 1954. Uh, we, where, where the heck do you still get the energy to go out on that stage? <laughs> yeah, really? In 1954, I remember that very, very well. And um, uh, our, our first, very first record, first first single record was uh, "That's What Girls Are Made For." It was on the Tri-Fi label, owned by Harvey Fuqua and Gwen Gordy. What, can you just hum that for a second? Can you just hum a little of that? Because I don't remember that one. Give me a second. <laughs> All right. Well, hold on. Jesse, Jesse's got a guitar there. He's working. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> it, the, Henry's got the floor right now. Uh, no, well, I, hold on. That, I think I think what, we got what, 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 what the hell is that when she was young? We got yeah, CJ. Uh, hey, CJ. Hey. Hey, we got CJ. All right. Hey, CJ. CJ, how are you? CJ, turn your phone sideways. All right, let me part. <laughs> no. CJ, Better late driver. than never. Better late than never. There you uh, go. That's so There's great, you. man. So, so fellas, listen, you guys are, um, you know, I want to, uh, we're going to talk about all the history and everything else, but you got this new album coming out right on August 14th, next month, uh, Round the Block and Back. It's been what, uh, Henry, 40 years? Something like that, yeah. Since uh -huh. since a new album, what what made you guys decide to come out with a with a whole new bunch of songs? 
Well, you know, it's been quite a while since we had a release on the album. <clears throat> we, we was, excuse me. <clears throat> and we was in the studio and uh, uh, the uh, producer, Gary, Gary Gafford, we went in with him and the things that we recorded, they kind of pushed that aside a little bit. And I like this new album. <laughs> Thank you, though. <laughs> All right, now. Okay. Okay. There you go. There you go. All right, Dale, go ahead. <laughs> I keep losing her. She keeps hitting the wrong button, guys. <laughs> wow. uh, anyway, listen, CJ, man. How does I know it's it, it, the guys have come in and out? Here she is. Will you stop hitting the wrong button? Boy, it just kind of disappears. So it's live, live, uh, live uh, TV here. So go ahead. I'm so sorry. Uh, CJ, uh, Ronnie, Jesse, and CJ, I'll start with you. How does somebody become part in these later years? How do you become part of the spinners? How's that first happen? About, my first answer would be a, it's a blessing, man, and it's an honor. Uh, first of all, and most blessings just pop up on you. And this is pretty much how it happened with me. Um, a fellow friend asked uh, if I was available. I was, of course, I'm going to say yes. I was wide awake for it. You know? <laughs> yeah. Like, spinners? yeah, let's go. I'm in. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, um, I, like I said, it was an honor and um, another learning experience, too, at the same time. So. Unbelievable. And to, still, and to still sing with an original that's still there. Somebody been stumping the same ground since before I was even born. Yeah. <laughs> man. Honor, man. Yeah. But can we go back to It's a Shame? Because that was clearly the big hit for you guys, right? Yeah, and was, I didn't realize that Stevie Wonder was in on all of that. Can you yes, just... Can you uh, he that? was the writer producer for that. And he... And he said, what? Uh, he came to you with the song, and what happened? No, he told us before. He said, look, I got a, I got a song for you guys. And uh, in that, during that time, we was doing a little traveling, you know. And uh, I said, we told him, look, look, get with the office and find out what days that we're going to have off. Then we can, we can work from there, you know. Wow. That's incredible. And then just hit after hit after hit after that, right? I mean... Let's talk about it. Yeah, because, thanks, oh. thanks. Thanks kind of fell in place for for some reason, you know. And I'm glad it did, you know what I mean? But uh like everything that we were, were doing and everything that we touched turned to gold for us, you know, because we've been out there for quite a while, you know. And uh I one of the guys said, Man, you think we're gonna make it? I said, Hell yeah, don't be talking like that. <laughs> <laughs> But how about the rest of you guys? Did you remember listening to that and loving it? And then to be part of the group now was just like, what was your favorite favorite song from that time period? Oh, well, I got to love the very first recording we did with, with uh, Harvey Fuqua, That's What Girls Are Made For, in 1961. Right. And it went to top 40 around the country. Wow. 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 Henry, how, how's that one go a little bit? You got about 10, 15 yeah. seconds? Yeah, a little there? bit. I don't remember that one. I'm, I'm, I'm the baritone, not the, not the lead. <laughs> well, all right, so who's usually who's usually doing the lead right now? Right now it's TJ and, and um, uh, uh, Marvin. Oh, Ronnie. Yeah, Ronnie. Ronnie, Ronnie, you're doing the lead, sitting there all quiet, huh? <laughs> Ronnie's got the keyboard right there, ready to go. Play it too. Listen, yeah. one, of you, one of you guys has to give me a little work in my way back to you, babe. Yeah. We, we we do that all the time, goofing around here on this show. So who's, who's going to give me 15, 20 seconds of that? Come on, guys. One of you lead singers, let's do it. Let's make it happen. Come on. I'll be working yeah. my way back to you, babe. With a burning love inside. I'll be working my way back to you, babe. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Day and every day. So she cool. was so in love with me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I played around <laughs> like I was free. That's it. All right, yeah. now. Uh, what about it. Rubber uh, Band Man? Rubber Band Man was an amazing tune. Who 
was responsible for that. And then that was even used in an Office Max commercial for like the rubber band balls. Remember those? <laughs> rubber band, the big rubber band we we um we use on the stage when when, when we perform, you know. So uh, it's 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 a lot of fun. I don't on uh, and that, that's done at the end of the show, you know. Right. That's, that's the last song we do before we leave the stage. Oh, so I love it. It man. goes off real good. Who's Jesse. the one who came up with all the dance moves? Like when you used to do that beautiful choreography and every like who? How do you do that? Who came so we, up? With um, uh, back we, we was already uh, uh, put uh, moves and, and things to our to our songs, and uh, our manager hired um, the the, 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 the um, Charlie. Charlie. yeah Charlie Atkins. He had Charlie Atkins, and Charlie Atkins taught us a heck of a lot with the routines and stuff that, that we do. Wow. Yeah, of- see out there, if you see us on stage, you see Charlie Atkins. <laughs> That's the moves for sure. Jesse, Jesse, when did you join the group? My goodness, I joined the group. And the, I got the call from Henry in November of 2008 but uh, you know you, you say what does it take to become a spinner and i'll say it i'll put it in in, in words slightly different from cj it takes an act of god uh, <laughs> I was, uh, the first concert i ever saw when i was a kid was a spinner's concert my parents took us my brother and sister and i to the state fair we rode the rides and all that now they're dragging us to some concert you know it's their turn to have some fun I get there, I'm hearing the music. I'm like, oh, I know this stuff from the radio. And I started, I, I was really enjoying it. I, I know the song. Oh, these are the spinners. So, but by the time Purvis hit his 1245, the crowd starts screaming. I looked at my parents. I said, mom and dad, I said, that's what I want to do when I grow up. And had no idea I'd be in that group. Amazing. Wow. wow. Dude, you it's got a true story, I tell you. That you voice got, is Yeah, you got that voice, man. You, should, thank you, thank you, you have the voice of God right there. <laughs> Boy, thank you. Uh, Can you at least tape my answering machine message? <laughs> <laughs> I sure will. Hello, and thank you for calling. Naomi, <laughs> call you back as soon as possible. Leave your name, Ooh. number, and a brief message. Hello. Naomi's getting a massage. for this commercial. Yeah. <laughs> Naomi's getting a massage right now. <laughs> right. And, and right. Ronnie, what, right. Ronnie what, what about you, bud? When did you join the group? Oh, we, lost, we lost Ronnie's mic. Ronnie, still there, Ronnie. Turn that there you, on. Go. you got it? There you go. No, no, we we yeah. still off. He's still off. Ronnie, we got no audio on you, man. Hit but Ronnie, you look, you look really good. Yeah. Open it up and hit the microphone button. <laughs> yeah, he might have that mic. Uh, uh, hit no, the microphone not. icon. But you look real good no, with all the equipment sitting in there. Hey, look. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I got to ask you guys a question, and, and and Henry, of course, you, you'll you'll be able to answer this uh, a little more passionately, I would think. Um, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, man, nominated three times, <clears throat> not in yet. Uh, that's yeah. got to be that's got to be kind of frustrating for you guys. I mean, you certainly have the hits. You got the you got the length of service. Yeah. I mean, for God's sakes, it's so, sixty years now. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you know uh, those kind of kind of uh, things you have to. Have good connections, you know. Because mm-hmm. sometimes people do little things that that help you out and everything. And uh, somebody might know somebody else, you know what I mean. And so uh, we were lucky. We were lucky in that part. Nice. It's the politics. Um, it's a lot of politics, and and it's a lot of time, and it's a waiting game. Yeah. From what I've seen, uh, I've been around for a long time. I've haven't been in the spinners a long time, but I've been in the business and I've been on the committee for the Grammy and things like that. So I understand that there's a waiting game, and and I've I've been trying to find that one thing out myself, but it can't be too far away with the new project and yeah, all the yeah. things we're doing. Yeah, and, and we're working. We're still in the studio, getting ready for the next thing. Because in this business, you got to keep moving. I have to ask you about, uh, in that vein, you're still working. What do you think of today's music? And I ask you for a specific reason because I have teenage boys and they listen to rap, okay? So do you guys like rap music? And did you realize that a rapper called Young Gravy in his song Boomin' is using your beat? I'll be around. Like you do know that. Do they have to get your permission? 
Yeah, yeah it's all, it's a lot of it's a lot of legal legal stuff with that that goes through um and copyrighting laws and things like that. So yeah, it's have to be it's, you have to, it's not really a permission thing, it's really about the check. <laughs> it's all about the money. It's yeah, it's all about about the money. Check. Just um, pay us, right? And it ain't that you have to check to see if you can play it. You just need to make sure the check is right when it comes in for using that song. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Um, uh, well. Listen, you, you got way back, uh, Henry. You guys, uh, I see, made a little appearance on Don Kirshner's rock concert. There's John. Um, right? There's there's you guys back in the day. Um, yeah. but Don, Don Kirshner, a relative of mine through, through marriage, a uh, good buddy of mine, uh, till he passed away several years ago. Um, but I just I happened to catch his picture when you guys were on the rock concert, and I know I saw you were on Letterman. Uh, you know, those had to be like some pretty cool benchmarks for you guys as you were coming up, right? Oh, yes, because um, our manager at the time was Butter, was Butter Allen, and Butter Allen, Butter Allen, uh, Butter Allen man, Management. And uh, Butter told us a long time ago, he said, Man, you we're gonna put these records out. And one at a time, and if they go ahead and be a hit for you, you you'll be working, you'll be working for a long time. Yeah, all you need is that one hit, right? Yeah, the um, one hit. Close to that one hit for us, we're 1961. That's what girls are made for. Wow. We, I, I still gotta hear that. I still gotta hear what that sounds like. Yeah, Henry, we still don't know what that sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> That's what girls are made for. Yeah, yeah. Who, who, give me, who give sings me a little. That one? Somebody. Somebody saying that's what it was make. I'm, I'm a baritone, I'm not a lead. <laughs> Ronnie knows it all. The Ronnie, way. can we hear you? Ronnie, yet? go ahead. I, I, I don't know very much in that song. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie, what? All what, I what? know is that's what girls are made for. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. That must be when you guys are on stage. That must be a short song, huh? Uh, yeah. Thank you. Good night. We don't do it live, though. We don't do it live. Oh, you don't do that one? No. Ronnie, I'm, I'm, I'm a new live. kid on the block, so I'm still learning them. Yeah, yes, you yes. Learn them. still Ronnie, learning. Ronnie, what do you do lead on? What are the big songs you're doing lead on? I I kind of come in, you know. I do um on it's a shame. I do the high parts on it's a shame. I could tell that's where you would would uh, fit in. <laughs> give, yeah. us a little, give us a little. Come so on, Ronnie. Give us that give high us 20, voice. Twenty Ronnie. seconds. Twenty seconds. Oh my God! Why he do? This? We'll do the it's a shame. You can do it, Ronnie. You can do it. <laughs> why do you use me? Plan to confuse me. How can you said to be so cruel? Nice. <laughs> they gave me the chill. Nice, <laughs> All right. Nice. nice. All right, nice. Well, listen, here's the thing. So, you know, I couldn't real I couldn't play the actual songs of yours because of of copyright issues playing the real tunes. Right. Um, I, I know you got you got the new album coming out, Round the Block uh, and Back, right? And I was right. just I was right. reading a few things. You're getting some great reviews on it. Um, and, I, and I know the song Cliche is the lead single um, on from the, the song. Yeah, from, so, from the album. So who can give me who can give me a little taste of that so we know? Yeah, I need to know, know what your current out. sound is. Yes. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh -oh. You got CJ him right smiling. in front of you. <laughs> CJ, <laughs> go ahead, man. Oh, man. Um. Little cliche, CJ. Go ahead. Don't make this love a cliche. Um, I forgot the words. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot the words? Like, how could that be? How could that happen? I'm like, I'm like wait a minute. I'm like, uh, you guys are going to have a tough time Come on, on you. This tour is going to be amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I know you'll have it all ready when, when the album comes out and you're performing it, right? Oh, yeah. 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 I'll be ready by the end. Oh my God! How did I forget it that quick? You got me. You got me coming up. Uh, you got you got missing your embrace. Was a yeah. little a little COVID tune you guys put together, right? Oh yeah, I love that song. Uh, go ahead, Jess. Let me hear. Well, this is just a. Uh, I have a being the bass singer. I just have a talking part. Oh okay. <laughs> I just I just do you one of those, sweetheart. Oh baby, I miss holding you. I miss touching you. Yeah. I miss I miss your embrace. Yeah, you know, it leads right into Ronnie's scene. Yeah. Oh my yeah, God! Yeah, you can put that on your answering machine. Yeah, right. Oh, I mean, it's already done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm way ahead of you. It almost it reminds me of um, 
uh, the song when you see her face everywhere I go. Yeah, right. he's right. there. Yeah, that's, that's, I can hear you. I can hear you talking through that one too. Right, right. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so so many others. Right? Could it be I'm falling in love? I'll be around. Games people play. Uh, you guys had a number one song, Henry, with Dionne Warwick, right? Then came right. you. Then came you. Um, uh, how, how did that come about? How did you come about, you know, collaborating with her? Well, she wanted to um, re re record with her earlier, but we was too busy. And uh, we went to Philadelphia. Tom, we were working with Tom Bell at the time, and we, we didn't have the time. You know, we didn't we didn't go, but we. Couple of days off to go to finish up the album that we had recorded. I forget the name of the album now, but uh, but uh, uh, everything came off good. Everything came out real good. That's awesome. Who do you guys listen to when you want to just like chill out? I listen to most of spiritual records. Do you? Yeah, yeah. gospel. I, I love gospel. I listen nice. to the Dixie Hummingbirds, Five Blind Boys, you know, like that. Sure. How about you, CJ? What do you listen to? Oh, boy. <laughs> I listen. Total uh, you're listening to the words of cliche. That's what you're listening to. <laughs> I, listen, I, listen. I need to see. I listen to, um, I, I, it's going to surprise you, but I listen to the new trap music and the, I listen to what your sons listen to. Oh, see? It's crazy. I mean, I actually like it. I don't know That's why, exactly but I do. It is. But I do like you guys better. I like Motown better. I wish I could just listen to Motown. That's it. You and Stevie Wonder. What about you, Ronnie? You you have any favorite? Uh, what do you you play something on that keyboard for us? Yeah, <laughs> yeah Ronnie, is that just for show back is there? That, what is that? Is it real? I'm you know, I'm a jazz person, believe it or not. Oh, I love jazz too. <clears throat> I love I love jazz. I listen to a lot of jazz, um, and. A lot of things are right. Very nice. Can we see any jazz in this new uh, this new album a little bit? Any like, what is the vibe of the new album? I like well, to call it grown and sexy. On the black and back again. Yeah. What yeah. was that, CJ? What'd you say? I said I like to call it grown and sexy myself. There you go, Naomi. Okay. Yeah. There you I go. Can. <laughs> I I don't know what to say. Well, this <laughs> <laughs> Who left listen, me speechless? You, I didn't you know guys, Jesse. <laughs> what listen. does he like before we let him go? <laughs> uh, well, me, I, I'm a fan of the old school. I love old school music. I'm a big 80s fan as well. Uh, a lot of my influence, my my biggest influence on stage uh, is actually Prince. You know, I do a lot of mm. I do a lot of splits and things on stage, like wow. spins and whatnot. I, I love his showmanship really? and his charisma. Oh. Day, so. That we really wanted to see, but I guess we've run out of time. So <laughs> we'll have You'll have to come to a show. We'll, I will just have to see you in person. <laughs> the show, we'll pull out all the stops. You know, right. when you when you yeah. look up when you look up spinners on YouTube, man, you get you get everything from every decade. I mean, they mm -hmm. take you back, right? Like yes, Henry. Where, Henry, where are you in this group right here? Uh, on the on the right end. All the way on the right side? On the left side. Over here on the left. Oh, on the oh left. yeah, far left. Okay. Oh, I love it, man. I love man, it. Man, you guys. You, you guys, work hard. <laughs> you're, going, you're going on tour. You're out on tour now. Uh, where can we see you, like, you know, coming up end of July through August? You guys are out there doing your thing, right? Yep. Yes, we are. On the West Coast. Um, Seattle. Oh, uh, Oakland. Minnesota. Uh, really? We'll be in Minnesota August 30th. New Looking York. That. Where are you coming to New LA. York? Where are you yeah, going to be in New York? We'll be in Syracuse um, on the 23rd, 4th. I'm sorry. Oh, nice. But then nice. we'll be in New York, but we'll be in New York that week after recording. New, New York, oh, in New York City recording? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. All right. Listen, I, live in, you, I live in little old Rhode Island. So where are you coming close to me? Any Anywhere? Boston? No? Philly? Not, uh, not, 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 not this time. Okay. You can't ever tell when something might come in, though, you know? You call Listen. me when you're close, okay? Yeah, right. because this, Henry, pandemic, this pandemic kind of messed everything up for a long it, time. It, you know? You're right. You're right. Henry, you need us to, uh, you need me to join you guys in the studio. We we uh, we did a little duet, me and my guy, Phil, who's usually on the show also. 
Uh, let me give you let me give you a couple seconds of it. Let me know. Maybe you need me to join you guys in the studio because I'll remember all the words. Ready? Take okay. <laughs> oh yeah, Philly kid. Little spinners working my way back to you, babe. I'm really sorry. Uh, uh, uh. I keep working my way back to you, babe With a burning love inside Yeah, I'm working my way back to you, babe And the happiness that died I let it get away ooh, 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 ooh. Been paying every day ooh, ooh. Do, do, do. Come on! Thank you. What's <laughs> oh, man. The guy in the blue shirt guy. was good, but the other guy, wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Scott, that other guy was holding you back, man. He's holding you back. He's dimming your light, bro. That's man. our guy. That's our guy, Philly. He's got 10 million followers on his Facebook page. The women wow. love that guy. And he's yeah. usually, uh, he's also off this week, but we uh, we have fun with duets all the time, man. And that was Check one it of them. I had to pull it up, but uh, listen, but nobody's I wasn't like you. Nobody's like the real spinners. <laughs> Jesse, I got to, I got to imagine you're the guy who goes and say it every day. All right, I've been paid every day. <laughs> <laughs> man, Guys, listen, thank you so much, man. It's an absolute pleasure and honor for us to have you on. Uh, so best of luck. The album's called Round the Block and Back Again. Right. Uh, it's coming out August seventeenth. Um, Wish you the best. Wish you the Thank best. You the, new, the new single is cliche. Cliche, we know that. CJ, CJ, you want to knock that out for us? Yeah. Uh, cliche, go ahead. To make this love a cliche. Don't use this love for only what you can get. Cause that may be a cliche. I want something better. Sure, that that's where I'm coming from. Wow, wow, wow. All right. Oh, oh, <laughs> yes. I think you got a hit on your hands there. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Fellas, thank you so much for coming out. Once the show is done here, it goes to like 10 different streaming platforms, about 3 million people a month. So we'll um, get you guys some good exposure for the new album. Awesome. I, I assume I assume people could just download it off of, of anywhere, right? Apple. Right. I think so. Yes. yes. All right. Where great. can I get it, Jesse? Where can I get it? Uh, Apple, eBay, Amazon, everywhere that you can get music, you can you can get these spinners. Uh, uh, you see, you can also pre-order the full album, which will be released August twenty seventh. Uh, but right now, uh, cliche is everywhere, even YouTube. If you go to YouTube, type the spinners and cliche, then you'll be able to hear the song there as well. Yeah. And we also nice. and, and and look us up, check us out. If you want to check out the calendar, want to find out where we are, go to the website, the spinners website. The spinners.com, right? Yep, the spinners.com. That's right. Make sure you put in round the block and, and uh back net. in here. Because the block you, you may here. you may get something else. Yeah, right, right. I'm afraid right. to ask. Okay. I'm curious. I want to see what the something else is. Right? Yeah. So, I'm gonna go try that right now. Guys, thank you so much, guys. Thanks, thank you so Chris. much. Good luck, man. Great Thanks night. for having us okay. on. Thank, Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Thank Naomi. You. Tell well. her best to Suki. Tell her we missed her. Yes. All right. Have, we'll have, us back. We'll see you. have a good day, guys. guys. Thank you. Stay well. Bye. Take care. Uh, Bye. Uh, oh, uh, that was unbelievable. That was, was something. Good. It's so interesting to see, you know, how these new guys just have to fit right in, and they do. They can. Um, yeah. They're so yeah, talented. You know what's funny, Naomi? We have guys that we've had guys who've come on from Kansas, um, Sticks. Um, uh, uh, what was the other one? Um, oh, Journey, God, like, yeah, like Journey. yeah, Foreigner yeah. Journey. Right, guys who have joined the bands later on in life. And, yeah. and one of my questions is, you know, how long does it take you to to learn all these songs that you really knew already growing yeah, up? Yeah, they probably and, just knew and, them. And most of these guys, they're such amazing artists that they already knew most yeah, of the songs. Yeah, and you're ex you're expected to know it from day one when they it's when they bring amazing. It in. And I think so. that's what this generation, at least mine. I mean, you're sort of the same age as I am. That's what we crave. We want to go see those groups because we don't get the music today, really. Oh, I don't yeah, know. You kidding just, me? And I that's why the Sugar Hill Gangs, who were on a couple weeks ago, guys like the Spinners. 
uh, Tower of Power, all yeah. the, the bands and, and musical artists that were around 70s, 80s, 90s, they're still relevant today Absolutely. because folk, folks our age are still out there, you know, yeah. dancing at festivals uh, and parties. And, it's, and it and it's brings great. back good memories, like of good times, right? I'd love to see it. I, do you yeah. want to hear Working My Way Back to You again? You, uh, that was, for... you know, that took a lot of guts to play <laughs> that while they were listening. I was mortified. <laughs> I mean, not by Phil so much because I you love him. You know, I have no fear. You don't have any fear, and you don't have any um, uh, singing ability. <laughs> is that the, All is right, that I wasn't going to say that. No, you have no shame, is what I was going to say. No, yeah. I have no shame. You know that it's a that's shame. That's shame. <laughs> the way All you right. mess around. With. Listen, we what? still have more show to do. William oh. Watt is coming up. He is in the green room. It's it's like four o'clock in the morning. In the Indian the Ocean, Indian, the poor guy. We made him stay. He's, I don't even know if he went to sleep yet. Oh. Um, he is. I've been watching him all day. He is. He's a mentalist. He's a magician. The guy is unbelievably flawless. I slow down the videos, Naomi. I try to see. I did too. I was watching anything. some stuff. He um he's he's a very dapper gentleman and very yes. refined. He's not yes. your typical magician or mentalist. No, and no. Wait till you see how well dressed he is for this show. Yes. Uh, so here he is. I'm going to give you a little a, li a little taste of William Watt, and okay. we'll bring him in on the other side. Here you go. Great. Yeah. 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 <laughs> He's got some magic hands there. Very Hello. Ah, Hello, look me, you. Hello, Scott. William, you look you look like you're like it in a in a, a a law firm right now. Yeah. The law firm of <laughs> oh. William Watt Esquire. Oh, no. Will, William Watt Esquire. Look at you, man. <laughs> hey, do you do they do they know the spinners out there by the Indian Ocean? Uh, yes, I do know them, of course. I uh it's amazing to share the stage with them. Thank you for having me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We love that you are French, right? And you have a lovely French accent. I'm hoping that you can speak some French for Merci. us this evening. No, I, I, know, <laughs> I know no French other than voulez-vous coucher avec, avec moi? Ce soir. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's, not, that's okay. not so exciting, uh, <laughs> really. But anyway, we're happy to Isn't have that's you. That's a good start. Yeah, it's wait, let, hold on. Isn't that something like, isn't that, that's kind of like a sexual thing, Naomi. It's well, I, that's, I don't know why that's the only French I know, other than uh, <laughs> merci beaucoup. Um, but truly, you are up in the middle of the night. Is it, it's four o'clock, 4 a.m.? Yes, ex exactly. Exactly, 4 a.m. Right. Did you go to bed and get up? No, or I stayed you? awake. <sighs> Did you have a gig that you were doing a show and you came from that show or did you have a nice restful something earlier? I just uh, watched a show uh, just before and just uh, stayed up and worked on some new stuff I am getting ready uh, to show soon, okay. but not for now. Yeah. They, yeah. They, I mean, you're a very different type of magician. Can you explain why they call you a very, uh, like a new age, a new generation new magician? Well, uh, that, that, that was when I, I started now. Things have changed a lot. But uh, let's say <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like uh, that was like uh, 15 years ago. But no, reality is that you have your personality. And most of the time, people tell me about my elegance, about my, the, the, the way that I am very uh, seductive magician. And my rhythm and uh, my style was just, this is what people said about me. So I just assume it now. Mm. That's amazing. And, and you're in, you're, how do you pronounce it? It's Mor Mauritius Islands. How do you pronounce it? It's Mauritius Island. Yes. Mauritius uh, Island. And that's right out there in the Indian Ocean. Exactly. I was born and raised in France. And um, I did my business in uh, most of the, my, my career in, in Europe. 
I also got um, some competition, won some competition in Europe and also uh, some in uh, USA. And uh, four years ago, I decided to drop everything and go and live on that small island in the Indian Ocean for a new wow. challenge. Wow. And here I am. What is it like there? Can you can you paint a picture of what it's like there compared to back in France? Well, there's nothing to to look like France, you know. It's like you've got France here, you've got Mauritius here, and heaven is just above. Really? <laughs> we better make our way there, Scott, before oh we God. leave the I'd planet. Like to, I'd Please like to leave, every, leave it all behind and just head out that way. My God. But did you always know you did you always know you wanted to be a, a magician? Uh, technically, no. At first, I wanted to become a basketball player, oh. uh, but my parents didn't encourage me into uh, doing basketball. So I decided to become a doctor, and they insisted for me to do magic. So, wow, that's amazing! That's yeah, I, I saw some video. Of you, of you <laughs> oh, that was a joke. Magic. Sorry, <laughs> it's a late joke. Okay, <laughs> it's a late joke. No, but the reality. Yeah, so here. sorry. That's no, okay. it's that uh, I, I actually. Uh, Really, I wanted to to do basketball at first, and then after I did studies in marketing, and uh, I worked for two years in the marketing industry. And um, one of my manager gave me a book about happiness. It's a book from Richard Carlson. In French, it's called "Décider d'être heureux, le bonheur c'est dans la tête." I think it's uh, something about I don't re recall the name in English about happiness from Richard Carlson. And after I read this book for two years, I thought about my future. And things became clear when I crossed paths with a magician. And since 2003, I decided I'll become a professional magician. Wow. That's amazing. Well, listen, really man, is. we love magic here on this show. Our audience loves magic. And uh, the floor is yours, my friend. What do you got for us? Okay. Uh, let's start with a little warm up, you know. Uh, so I'll change a little bit um, the view. So if I just do this. Is, then you can see my hands. Oh, look, and okay. I'll make it full screen. There you go. Very nice. Okay, perfect. So uh, the idea is uh, I'll just uh, take uh, a queen of hearts and uh, let's say here uh, a four of, uh, of spades. So we have a queen of hearts and a four of spades. What's the most important you have to do is to keep an eye on the queen. And if you can keep an eye on the queen, then you win. Okay. So if you think the queen is here, you lose. But if you think the queen is here, you win. Uh, but this is not a game, actually. This is a scam. It's, uh, it's, a, it's um, yeah, it's not a trick. It's called uh, Three Card Monty. You can see yeah, that three in the street in New York. York. Exactly. So I'll show you how it could be if I was doing this. I would use, as everybody, three cards with two black and one red. And the money card is the red card. If you keep your eye on the red card, you win. If you pay attention to this card, you lose completely. Okay, so this is the idea. You have a money card in the middle. You shuffle the cards like this. You can still see it. I just put it there so you can focus where the queen of hearts <laughs> is at the moment. But of course, if you bet on this card, you lose because that's where the queen of hearts <laughs> is. And here oh. we'll have the four of spades. So oh of course, um, at this moment, you can see it's uh, very simple. I just need a... Uh, Two cards, okay, like this. If I shuffle the card like this, it's easy to follow the queen because uh, the queen is uh, literally face up. Let me turn it over, and then you can see. It's easy because now she's face down, but if you snap your fingers, you can see that the queen is... Holy cow! Wow, where'd that go? And you have here the queen. <laughs> How the hell did you do that? Yeah, I know. But the thing is, right now, because of the rhythm and the pace of the situation, you are under my spell, which means that you are under hypnosis. So oh, wow. maybe, watch this. You can see the queen. The queen is huh? here. Okay. I'll just look at this. You will forget this moment right now. Okay. Scott, we have two <laughs> cards here. We have two cards here. Yeah. And uh, according to you, where is the queen of hearts? Well, according to me, you moved it off to the side the of the table. <laughs> Yeah, because you are under hypnosis, because what you don't know is that here I have the queen of hearts. Oh, my God. I will move wow. actually the four. I got a headache. No, I... no, no, don't, 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 don't. I told you, it's not a trick. It's a scam. It's not meant for you to win. It's, for, it's meant for you to lose. Don't blink, because the thing is, whatever you choice you make, 
I can wake you up anytime and watch this. The queen is gone. Oh my because god! Because from the beginning, wow. I put it over there. <laughs> so that now me, you know what? <laughs> the thing is, this trick, this trick uh, is uh, is is nice for me. For you, it's a nightmare. And I believe that, uh, I mean, and that I mean. most people hate me because I'm just uh, being smart and, hey, look at this, you, you miss it, you miss it, you miss it. So I don't, I'm not this kind of magician. This is why maybe I got this elegant style. Now me, I will tell you something. Yes. I use four queens. I use four queens to do this trick. Four and where are queens. the other three queens right now? Where are they? So first, I'll, I'll just uh, put one queen face down here and I will remove the four. Okay. okay. You, you trust me on that? I'm oh, maybe try. you want to see that. Yeah. that. That's the four. That's the four. Okay. I yeah. just remove the four. So that's the queen. Okay. So that's queen number one. Okay. That's queen number two. Oh my oh. god. That's <laughs> queen, queen number, number three. I knew and it. Guess what? Naomi, you are number fourth. Ah, I'm oh, that's queen. Look at you. Queen the Naomi, queen of thank you. That is that is freaky, man. <laughs> that is amazing. I uh, I really don't know how you do this, and I know you can't tell us, or you wouldn't be able to be called a magician. But it's well, the thing is, uh, today, uh, if you want to to know about magic, you have to accept that uh, people can find stuff on internet. Uh, but uh, as a magician, as a professional magician, it's not really about being empowered of doing something that you don't know, because that's not my position. What I'm most interested in about is making you experience something that you're not used to, something mm. that disconnect uh, to your uh, everyday routine. You know, interesting. That's that's the thing. That's the thing. You know, we every every everything from morning to to night is something you can predict. You already know most of your day, and there's no so many things that you that happens, that stays in your mind and blow you away, such as magic. It's a, it's a piece of heart. Of course, I don't have, I'm, I'm an illusionist. I'm, I'm cre creating illusions, but the magic happens in your mind. And if that works, then maybe in the next days, maybe next weeks, or maybe in, 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 in years, you still think about this moment. And, and this is just an emotion, nothing else. Wow, it's very wow. deep, very deep. Yeah, but I, I'm, 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 I'm hypnotized by your voice, for God's sakes, will it's you? It's very lovely to listen to you. Oh, <laughs> come on, we had uh, the spinners here before. I can see those <laughs> voices. The guys, I love that. It's amazing, you know. <laughs> really, it's a deep voice. You can you can no, hear the music yeah. when they're speaking. Oh, he's just amazing. But let me ask you something. You're also obviously billed as a mentalist, which, you know, is an interesting term, meaning you can read my mind. You can tell Project. me things that, like you can predict, can you do that with us tonight? Yes, I can. Oh, you want to try <laughs> yes, something? Do you know what yeah. I'm thinking right now? No. Um, I will. I will. I will. I will. I will try to influence you um, tonight, and if this works perf uh, perfectly, then uh, we'll be fine. Is this uh, legal? Let me just Is make this legal? <laughs> okay. So. Let me change a little bit my position right here. Okay. So just stand up. We're gonna move. Oh. Uh, we're gonna move to this. Tada! Okay, perfect. Oh, Welcome to my house. Go. Hello. Oh, okay. Lovely. So I like those salmon colored pants. I do love those, and I love oh. your trousers. Very. I short. love it too. And and these trousers are magical. You have no idea. I can show you something <laughs> about these trousers. Watch this. I have a coin. Before we go into some mentalism. I have a purse, sorry, and inside this purse, of course, <gasps> there is money. And this money is invisible because you don't see the frame of it, and you can see the frame of the purse. So it's harder to see the coin than the, than the purse. But actually, at one point, you can still see the coin, mm -hmm. see? And uh, this coin, you can make it travel from one hand into the other one. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> I try to go, not to go too fast. Watch this. I'll just put it right there. You can see it, see it in I the fabric it. of my mm -hmm. trousers. Okay. But if I just rub it like this, those trousers are just amazing. Whoa. See? They're magic pants. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And if you want, I've got some more like this. They are full. You can have a lot of money, you know. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, if you want, you can uh, see that uh, this coin, I can transform it into 
a pen. A pen. Oh my god! <laughs> and this, of course, is a single pen. And watch this. Inside of the cap, we have. Oops. Oh, sorry. The coin is the ever. That's okay. Well, and that's what about my trousers. Yeah. I'll tell you something about the trousers if you want to know. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you something about those two. Because uh, living in Mauritius, I had to, to adjust myself uh, uh, from uh, living in a um, European country where the weather is completely different. When here, there's no way you can have a jacket or whatever. Yes. Uh, so you have to adjust yourself. And I can... This is my new style now. Well, you so are I very, very dapper, yeah, very as we nice. say Thank here in, nice. in the States. Thank you. Yes. And you know what? Uh, short story, uh, long story stuff, but I was supposed to come in New York to get some nice of these zoot suits trousers in, yes. just before COVID. And uh, there was a, a, a shop that gave uh, some friend of mine told me to go. And I want to have two-tone shoes, nice, nice uh, um, zoot suits, and uh, I'm really looking forward to come and visit this shop in New York as oh, soon as possible. Awesome. Fantastic! We have and the visit best you stuff and visit in New York. You. Yes, I would love that. Well, you may, yeah, you got to let so, us know when you're coming in, bud. Yeah. Oh yes, we are in contact now. So, okay, uh, let's do this. Uh, before we go any further, I would like you to to bring your attention on this. And normally, if I do this. You can see this is my prediction in this video here. So there's no way I can change it. It's already here and mm -hmm. I will not change this video. Okay, so that's very important. Then after uh, I have here, let's put it in the middle. Okay, a deck of cards. I bring your attention to it because it's here and it won't move during the whole, the whole uh, sequence. Maybe I can just put it here actually, right there. This is gonna be good, okay. it's gonna be good. Yeah. And uh, here, I've got um, something to, to take some notes. So, um, Naomi? Yes. And Scott, by the way, <laughs> both of you. <laughs> uh, I will ask you to think about a number between 1 and 52. And uh, because we are very far away, and I, and, I, and I want to make sure that these experiments work perfectly, uh, and to make sure, actually, you don't pick the same number, because sometimes it happens. Scott, I would like you to think about the number between 1 and 26. And now, me, would you please think about the number between 27 and 52? Don't say it for now. Just think about it. Gotcha. Okay, Scott, you got yours? I got mine. Okay. One question. Do you want to change your mind? Or are you sticking to this number? Because you can change your mind if you want now. Yeah, I don't like it. I want to change. I'm, uh, I'm okay. sticking with mine. All right. I, I You're sticking with mine. yours, Naomi? Mm -hmm. Okay. So as this prediction is already done on this video here, I will just ask you, Scott, to name out your number, please. The number I changed to is 19. Yes. 19. 19. Okay. Here we are. And please, Naomi, can you please give me your number? My number is 32. Wow. Okay, perfect. So that's very exciting. <laughs> this is very exciting. Is I'll it? show you in a minute. Yeah, it is. It is. So we'll, we, we'll do something uh, even stronger. Uh, Naomi, uh, I would like you to use your, um, your feminine intuition mm -hmm. um, because there are 52 cards in a deck of cards and there are hearts, club, diamonds, and spades. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are um, 12 cards like from one ace to, to ten, mm -hmm. jack, queen, and kings. Mm -hmm. I would like you to name out one card, but please don't come to the first that come in your mind. Pick the second that come in your mind, or maybe the third, because we don't want you to come and name a queen of heart. You can't name the queen of heart, but just want you to know that maybe <laughs> you know, if I you say, say the queen of heart, everybody <laughs> says yeah, the queen I know. of heart. <laughs> That's right. the problem. That's, That's the, problem the problem because I've got a new card, in such so. a situation, people think there are statistics, and there are statistics, but we have the choice. And okay. I want to make sure that it's not becoming an obvious card to anyone. Go ahead. So go you ahead. have one card in your mind right now? I do. Okay. Can you please name it, please? The Nine of Diamonds. Nice. Wow. Okay. This nice. is just crazy. He likes I it. I love that. <laughs> yes, yes. I tell you, because I did my prediction right there. And you have no idea what's written in, in what, what I'm saying in there. 
it's just there. Okay. And here, before we go any further, I'll show you something. So this is what you said, and this is just crazy. So in this deck of cards, we have, oops, sorry, it's here. I don't want to, to come out of the, the, the frame. We have cards. Yeah. Okay, we have cards. Okay, as you can see, they are whole mixer. All the cards, yes. Okay. And uh, so, for example, maybe we have a nine of diamond here. Do you remember this card? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And we're going to look for number 19 and 32. So I hope you can see it. Maybe I can come yeah. closer like this. 19 and 32. If you see the, the number 19 and 32, please let me know. Because... Not yet. I'm, I don't see that for now. What not yet, not 19? yet. Not yet. Thank 31. 32. 30. Okay. There you go. 32. Okay, 32 and 19. Keep going. And... <laughs> there. Oh, I thought I saw it. Nope. Almost. Where are you, 19? Hey, 19. Hey, 19. 19. Right hey. there. All right. Okay, okay. I see it. yes. Okay, here we are. So now let me show you what happened right now. <laughs> I'm like uh, sticking my head so I can see everything. I don't see any funny here? business. No funny business. Okay. Yep. So um, Scott, I've asked you to name one number. That was your number, 19? Yes, sir. Okay. On the other side of this card is... Ace of Clubs. Ace of Clubs. Naomi, I've asked yeah. you to think about a number. Your number is? 32. 32. Yes. Okay. As you can see, and your card is? The King of Hearts. Exactly. Yes. And you name one card, the Nine of Clubs. Nine of Diamonds, sorry. Nine of Diamonds, yes, and I did. It is number eight. Good. Yes. Okay. So now I would like to show you my prediction. So my phone is up, but the video is still on. So I hope you can hear it. Please confirm. Hello, everybody from Mauritius. This is William Watt, the magician speaking. I may look tired, but it's actually three in the morning right now. So I'm recording this video because I want to do my prediction for an experience where I've asked you to think about numbers. And if this works perfectly, well, I believe that the Ace of Club will come out <laughs> and the King of Heart will come out. Oh my God. And if this works, well, I'm very happy. And if I'm confident enough, then I will ask someone to think about a card. And I believe this card will have the number eight on the back. <laughs> and if that's correct, well, Come make on. some noise and enjoy the rest of your night. Oh, this is William Moore from Mauritius. Goodbye. That's unbelievable. Wow. <laughs> and, and it's 4 a.m. and he still can do this. <laughs> I don't understand it. <laughs> I thought oh, you'd be like a little shaky at this, this hour. That was oh, incredible. My God. Thank that you. Unbelievable. I think you're, freak, you're freaking out our audience, too. Man, I, I hope. I hope. Wow. Thank you for having me. You want to see some more magic? You're enjoying of yourself? Of course. Yeah, man. Of course. <laughs> hold on. You know what? I want to um hold on. I want to bring in my boy Jake Thistle. Jakey boy, how you oh, doing, Jake. bro? <laughs> take your take your mute off. Take your mute off. You got your mute button on. I want Jake to enjoy this this magic. William, this kid is 17 years old. Hey Jakey boy. Got it, I think. Hey Jake. Yes. All right. William That's Jake the only trick seven, I know. <laughs> 17 years old. This guy sings like nobody's business, plays every <laughs> instrument. He's amazing. But he's coming on a little later. But I, I wanted him to enjoy what, what you got going on here. Uh, so I figured I'd bring him in because uh, you, you, my friend, William Watt, are absolutely a, a phenomenal. And I'm so glad we got you on tonight. Really something. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Let me show you something which is uh, very dear to my heart. Uh, we're going to change this to um, the close-ups like this. And uh, here we are. So just giving it a little mix. Yes. I mean, that was, that was ridiculous. That was amazing. 
Naomi, you didn't know you were going to be so entertained. Well, I, I'm, I'm, today. I'm blown away. Like I'm speechless and that doesn't happen too often. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out how he's doing this, but I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, that was fancy. Okay. We got four aces. Yeah, four aces. Just uh, the four aces right here. So uh, can you see them properly? Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. yes. If you don't see uh, the aces properly, it's okay. Yeah? We can do it with uh, the queens. Oh, so. man. <laughs> oh, my God. Is this the trick deck, the trick card deck, or not really? No. <laughs> uh, no, it's not. It's, it's not, not a uh, trick deck. See that? All the different no. cards. You need to go yes, to Atlantic City with William. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, can you please? Uh, okay, let's let's do something together. Uh, like, um, okay, we start uh, like this. Let's do Let's do this, for example. Um, okay, first I will just uh, bring back the aces right there. And uh, this is the idea. This is the idea. I, I love um, to do something in magic uh, called transposition, which means that you put something somewhere and go somewhere else. And um, um, this is the idea. I, 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 I performed this several times and I've tried to find the best way and this is the fastest uh, method I found to do this transposition. Watch this. One, two, three, four races. Okay, we just put them here and we get the queens here. Watch this. Don't blink right here. One, two, three, and now we have the four races and here the queens. Wow. That's awesome. So <laughs> maybe it goes a little bit fast. And people always wonder, okay, can you do it slowly? And I can. I can. Watch this. I'm going to go very slow right now. Please and do. If it goes too fast, <laughs> please let me know. Okay. <laughs> Watch this. One, two, yeah. three, and four aces. I put my queens here. And you can see that. One, two, three. And four aces. Watch this. First queen. Oh my god! Wow, <laughs> that's I'm that's dizzy. A, that's unbelievable. It's fantastic. Ah, oh, there's the queen. Two queens. To turn into all Three races oh, and four. Oh, oh my god, very so. Cool. If I have the queens here, it means that now here I have the aces. <laughs> Unbelievable! <laughs> but all this is just an illusion. I've told you. Watch this at the beginning, these cows were not queens. They were just oh my God. aces. <laughs> just one, two, three, and four aces. Oops. And of course, here on the table, I have one, two, three, and four queens. One, two, three, four queens, and one, That's two, awful. three, and four aces. Yeah. Bravo. Jesus. <laughs> man, oh, man. William, can I ask you, do you ever go to a casino? Is this a crazy question? <laughs> and and totally just sit down at the table and um, change the cards? Have you ever thought of that? Have you ever done that? No, no. but I, I, I remember I met some guys nervous at the blackjack table in Vegas. Yes. Oh, I bet my kids would love to take you to the casino. Oh, I'd love to people. take you to the casino. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's unbelievable. Just stand behind him and put my chips down on his. <laughs> <laughs> William, listen, man, you are uh, you are amazing, and I'm I'm so happy you came on, and I'm I'm glad you, you you're up with us late tonight. Yeah, it's, thanks it's for that. Four thirty eight in uh, the morning over by you. This uh, is it. I want you to go to sleep, and I and I want you to come back again, man. I really you are phenomenal, really, truly. And again, you say the well, Mauritius Islands is the next step to heaven, right? I mean, it's right before heaven. It's the best place ever. I wish you the best. Yes. Oh, thank you. Well, well I really want to thank you. It's a real honor for me to be in your show tonight. And uh, thank you really for having me. 
William, where can our where can our audience find you to see you you know to see you do your stuff online? Okay, uh, I have released my online show, which is called the Hidden Show. Uh, the best at, for now is to go on my uh, Instagram uh, to be in contact with me. It's uh, Will What Magic. Will What Magic. W I L L W A T T Magic, and you can follow me there. And you get also my my Facebook fan page called uh, William Watt Illusionist, and um, I'll be I'll be there. Terrific. So Will, Will Watt Magic yeah. and William Watt Illusionist on Facebook. Exactly. William, Good thank well. you, man. Listen, thank go you. to go to sleep and uh, <laughs> sweet dreams and both yeah, well. <laughs> sweet dreams, my man. And we'll love to have you back anytime, bud. This is amazing, really. My pleasure. Stay safe. Yeah, take stay care. Well. And uh, see you another time. Bye. Take care. Bye. Buddy. Bye bye. Jake, how was that, bro? That was fantastic. Thank you for bringing me up for it. I was oh, watching a little yeah. bit in the wings here, but I was uh, <laughs> it was really cool to see. It's he been was, a uh, crazy wow. show. William Watt, because <laughs> yeah, Naomi's like, what the hell? Honestly, <laughs> this has you know, really been something. Jake, Naomi and I go way back, and I said, hey, you want to come uh, hang out with me, co-host the show? She didn't know this kind of talent was coming Honestly, around. Honestly, I was really <laughs> excited to see you, Jake, because I've heard so much about you, and I know that you're super talented, and I love like talking to like local kids who are doing really great things, and, and I need to know more about you, though. What, what, when did you start playing? When you were like two? <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, I started, uh, I picked up my first guitar when I was, uh, when I was about nine and a half. So going up on, uh, on I guess, uh, eight years now. So. Wow. But you play everything, guitar, oh, piano. Dude. He's the yeah, best. Yeah, I mainly play uh, guitar and piano and then, uh, you know, I'll add in some harmonica when I can, you know, bass too or whatever. I put out an album um, in December and I, I, rec I was supposed to be in the studio but because of COVID and everything, it was just too uncertain. So I, I did it at home and so I ended up, playing all the instruments on the album so that was really just kind of throwing myself in the deep end of learning some other stuff but wow uh, until naomi, then it had just been guitar and piano what were you doing naomi when you were 17 uh well i was really just trying to get through high school uh algebra i was probably getting my d in chemistry and uh yeah but he's now like proficient in all these things and <laughs> such a tender age of of 17. guy yeah. just got his license for god's sake that is crazy. Hey, where are you going to go to college? Are you talking about, are you thinking about that, obviously? Yeah, yeah, we're thinking about it. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure where yet. Probably, I live in New Jersey, uh, too, so I'm, you know, I'm probably stay relatively in state. That way I can be uh, close to all the guitars and stuff for gigs. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's awesome. I I, I, Jake, listen, man, it's, uh, so it's, we're in the OT now. Uh, Goob, you'll <laughs> stick around a little bit because uh, yeah. it's amazing. I don't have anything else to do. <laughs> All right, good. We usually, because we usually go to like nine, nine oh five okay. so, here on the it. East Coast. Um, Jake, your kid, what do you want to, I mean, listen, you blew me away with uh, Jackson Brown last night. I put up the clip. Everybody loves it. Um, what do you want to do, man? I know all the, our, our audience is so glad you're back. Um, it, it, you got any, any set list tonight for the show? Um, you know, pretty much, uh, whatever you want to hear, you know, I'll start with a Tom Petty song. If that's right with you guys. Sure. Yeah, of course, man. They Go for it. Tom Petty. <laughs> all right, <laughs> cool. I'll tell a, a little bit of a story for this one. Uh, just, um, I don't know, Scott might've noticed that I was, uh, a little late. Uh, coming on uh, compared to how I was yesterday. Uh, literally right yeah, before... what the hell, man? Don't be late. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, literally right before uh, I got on here, I, I, was, I just got off the phone uh, with a, a friend out in uh, uh, California uh, named uh, Leilani, and she, is, uh, uh, she runs uh, Rock the Dogs Tazzy Fund, which is uh, Mike Campbell, who is a lead guitarist in uh, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers uh, um, uh, band for you know since the beginning, and he was in Fleetwood Mac, and he's done all these really cool projects. And... Um, I'm very excited now. I just found out that he uh, handpicked a guitar to uh, send me. Um, uh, so that's coming yeah, in the middle soon. So that's, uh, that and excited me a lot. So I'll start with the Tom Petty song uh, okay. just to say thanks for that. But uh, considering up, I'm waiting uh, for the guitar, I'll do the waiting. And uh, just coincidentally, <laughs> it's one of the only songs I know that mentions cards in it anyway. So it kind wow, of a good segue. Perfect segue, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'll start with that. Something from a dream 
Well, I never know nothing quite like this. Don't it feel like tonight might never be again? But we know better than to try and pretend. No one could have never told me about this. I said, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The waiting is the hardest part. Every day you get one more card. You take it on faith. You take it to the heart. The waiting is the hardest part. Well, yeah, I might chase a couple women around. All that ever got me was down. I'm feeling right now But you're the only one That's ever known how To make me want to live Like I want to live And I said, yeah, hey, yeah Yeah, 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 yeah The waiting is the hardest part Every day you get one more yard Take it on faith Take it to the heart The waiting is the hardest Don't let it kill you, baby. Don't let it get to you. Don't let it kill you, baby. Don't let it get to you. And I'll be your bleeding heart. I'll be your crying fool. Don't let this go too far. Don't let it get to you. Man, that was perfectly suited to you. I mean, that was so good. Oh, I really appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, now, you know, play, you know. now you know why I'm his manager now. Oh, my goodness. And you know what? He's a heartbreaker, too. I see that. I see the, <laughs> the young fans out there going, oh, my God, it's Jake Thistle. Uh, Play another you know, song. Too. Naomi, I, I keep, I keep, I'm like, Jake, can I just hang with you at the mall? <laughs> well, well, you make us feel young, Jake. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, that was nice. Really nice. Naomi, Is that your vibe though? That's like you, who's your biggest, you know, influence? He does a lot of Springsteen. This, this Springsteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of Springsteen, uh, a lot of, a lot of, you know, Tom, uh, the Heartbreakers and, and Tom have been, uh, uh, been a really big inspiration and, uh, you know, they're all, they were all, uh, you know they're all really supportive of, of musicians and me and and it just it really means the world you know that you know they care so nice that's beautiful i believe naomi do you have any uh suggestions for my uh, protege oh my gosh i'm so bad when you put me to the test and ask for a song because it'll probably be like girl from ipanema and he's like i don't play that girl i don't from know ipanema. That. no no i'm not gonna say that um uh let me say how about a billy joel tune sure yeah that he was actually your first last night uh, so uh, and we didn't get to it, so it's perfect. Oh, that's right, we never oh, got to Billy. Joel. Perfect. See. All right, I'll try this one out. Okay. Uh, here.
said he couldn't go on the American way. Closed the shop, sold a house, bought a ticket to the West Coast. Now he gives them a stand up routine and I think Billy Joel would be really proud. I think you did him yeah. really proud right there. And I'm a, like a big Billy Joel fan. Your voice is just <laughs> so lovely. Like it just kind of works with whatever song you're doing. Yeah. It's really awesome. Naomi, <laughs> you sound like a judge on American Idol right I, now. I, I love feel it. like one. I you feel, really love You're good. Did you ever try out for American Idol? Did you try? Uh, no, I, I haven't yet. You know, uh, uh, you know, maybe maybe one of these days. Uh, you know, I, I haven't really... Uh, thought too much about uh, that type I of think thing you, just have a lot I of fun you, have, uh, you, you know, might have as to, is so you know i like to write a lot too so yeah, yeah that's you know, he doesn't he doesn't need american i know to be honest i know that was maybe a silly question but it is helpful sometimes to some people but i think you know you've got your own wheelhouse going you've got your own style um you just do your thing and people will love it thank you so much <laughs> yeah no he's amazing he's amazing jake how do you how do we want to finish it off tonight a little springsteen little bon jovi you know what i loved what you did last night we hit a um we did a little Del Shannon. Uh, you hit any, any other oldies you like to do? Because I love that you're 17 and you love doing oldies. Can you do any Motown like the Spinners? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you do any Spinners, bro? <laughs> don't make yet, me put my video no, back on. No, I'll don't make him. No, on. never mind. Don't, don't do that. I'll switch over to guitar if that's okay. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Sure. 
I'll just uh, change mics for, uh, real quick. And Naomi, you have to see when he does, he plays the guitar and he, he's got the harmonica like Springsteen. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that takes a lot of talent. That's phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Don't don't you try that, Scott, at home? No, okay. no, I can't, All right. I can't do it. My guitar, I have an electric guitar right back here. I have an electric guitar right over here. Do you play no, it? It's got no strings. I got it when I was ten. Okay, brilliant. And I never. I I played one song, "Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald." <laughs> Um, I think it was the uh, work of Scott. Stanford. Yeah, I got it because I was my. They were wheeling. True story. They were wheeling me in to get my appendix taken out when I was ten. Oh no! And my mother said, "What do you want? I'll get you whatever you want." I, I want electric guitar. <laughs> so I oh, got an no, electric no, guitar, no, no. and I, I learned one song, and then I quit. Of course, I quit. I could have been. Well, yeah. yeah. Give it to Give it to Jake, will you? Give the guitar to him. <laughs> <laughs> but now it has no is... strings. <laughs> This one uh, does. Thank so, go goodness. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll do. Um, I'll do an old uh, blues tune. This was. Uh, this is a Hank Williams song from, I guess, the late '40s. But uh, wow, uh, George Thorogood did. It. A, a billion people have done it since. But uh, okay. Nice. I used to play this uh, with my good friend, uh, uh, the late Lou Palo. I used to play with him like uh, almost every Sunday, and he was uh, the lead guitarist for uh, the Les Paul Trio for a long time, and just oh nice. Knew, he knew like everyone. And yes. so it's always really, really amazing to play and learn from those guys. I was the youngest in the band by 70 years without exaggeration. <laughs> but, uh, I'll say. He was, uh, yeah, he was, he was a really great guy. He gave me uh, this guitar, actually, behind me over here. Oh, Jake, but, uh, you're uh, you're almost the youngest on this show by 70 years. Yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> to say it, but, yeah. More like 10. Funny, Scott. Scott. <laughs> Go ahead, bud. Light it up. All right. Last night about a half past ten A woman of mine wouldn't let me in So move it on over Rock it on over I Move over little dog Cause the big dog's moving in She changed the lock on my front door Now my key won't fit no more So move it on over Yeah, rock it on over Move on the skinny dog, cause the fat dog's moving in. This dog house here is mighty small. But I guess it's better than no house at all. So move it on over. Yeah, rock it on over. Move over, old dog, cause the new dog's moving in. This sad 
is yours That says mine So shove it on over Let's sweep it on over I move over cold dog Cause the hot dog's moving in I move over nice dog Cause the mad dog's moving in I move over little dog Cause the big dog's moving in That's always wow. so much fun to play, so I hope you liked it. That, that is seven, a great 17. He's 17. Great job. I can't believe it. <laughs> You're my idol, Jake. You're, and I see the comments, too. People are like, forget American Idol. He's my idol already. So really fabulous. <laughs> I just have job. a lot of fun doing it, so I'm grateful I can, you know? You That's can feel great. it. You can feel your passion. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Jake, or now are you back with us again in the OT tomorrow night? Sure. Nice. Wow. Sounds I'm going to have to think of some good songs. Request. Yeah, yeah, Listen, let me know. Okay. I got to tell Phil he's got to he's got to get back because he might he's going to lose his spot. He's going to lose. <laughs> Maybe they can do a duet. Phil, <laughs> oh, no, Phil, Phil thinks Jake's amazing. I mean, who doesn't? Um, Jake, what do you have? Are you playing like every weekend somewhere over the summer at like, you know, bar, not bars, yeah, but like Tiki yeah, I've Outdoor? Been a lot, uh, I've been playing a lot, uh, you know, down the shore, uh, on the Jersey Shore. Uh, yeah. So uh, if you're interested, you know, a lot of them are private, but a lot of them are public, too. You know, so um, I'm, I'm, I have a schedule over at uh, jakethistle.com that kind of just has wow. everywhere you can see me as well as links to anything you want. So, Would Jake you travel to Rhode Island for like a barbecue at my house? I'm just sure. asking. Why not? <laughs> oh, good. Okay, good to know. <laughs> Naomi, you're going to have to go through me for that. We're going to have uh, to. Excuse me, out. but I'm now co-hosting. <laughs> I don't have any co-host power. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's true. Jake, give her a little discount. We'll talk about it later. All right. All right. Cut me in a little. Um, listen, dude, I know it's 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 nine o'clock, but you, you want to do I, you want to do one more? I could I could listen to you all night. Let's do one more. One okay, last, one, one more. Sounds good. I'll move over to uh piano. Go ahead. Okay, back to the piano. Does Jake does guy. Jake actually work at a job job, like a job summer job, or this is his summer job? No, this, you get paid yeah, for that. This, this is a summer okay. job. Yeah, okay, this is it. Keeps, keeps me really busy, so I have a lot of fun doing it. This guy's got gigs all over the place. Oh my <laughs> word! All right, I'll do I'll do a Springsteen song for you because we did talk okay. about him. Go ahead, you you pick it, you finish it up. Go ahead, bud. All right. I'll I'll try uh I'll try. This is a uh, one from the Letter to You album, uh, and this was the single off that. So it was uh one of the first songs I heard off it, and I was uh, really excited. So this is Ghosts.
Beautiful. Thank you so much. I really oh, appreciate Lord. it. Man. Oh, Lord. Honestly, Naomi, I you think, you think he'll remember he'll remember us and Phil and Suki when he's honestly, up on the stage. He definitely won't Grammy. remember me. He won't remember me, but you know, perhaps. Of course I will. Um, my word. Uh, that was that was so beautiful. That I don't know that. I mean, I'm not a huge Bruce fan. I know that sounds terrible to say, but um, <laughs> That actually made me want to like him more. Um, yeah, I'm not a huge really, Bruce fan either. It was, but I was. That was a great. Yeah, great I, song. that was such a pretty song, and I I like your voice better than Bruce. Is that bad? <laughs> <laughs> I, I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> uh, um, anyway, well, Jake, that, listen, man. Uh, we'll see you back tomorrow night around eight thirty, bud. Can't wait. Wow. It's really up to you, my man. You want to come play again? Bad. We'd love to have you. Of course, wow. always. I mean, listen, if you're not here, I'm back on my couch at 830. But if you want to come play. <laughs> this is a very like free form show. I noticed it's very just free whatever. Form, yes. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> For sure. uh, as long as you want me, I'm here. I always really, really enjoy it. Uh, we love you. Thanks, you're the Jake. best. You're man. awesome. Our, you're our really awesome. Audience loves you. And uh, where, again, where where could everybody find you before you go? Sure. I'm at uh, jakethistle.com. And that's pretty much links to all the social media and the schedule. And uh, if you're interested in my originals, uh, you can get the album there. It's also on all streaming platforms. Um, and then, uh, in addition, I'm uh, Jake Thistle Music on Facebook and Instagram. All right, listen, tomorrow night, when you come back, you got to sing one of your originals, man. I want to hear one of the sure. songs you wrote. Huh? Always happy to play them, yeah. Absolutely, love man. Love that. Right. We look forward to that. We love you, bud. We'll see you tomorrow night. 
Can't wait. Thank you so much. All right. Get your rest. Okay. Rest up. <laughs> Luckily, it's not, it's not five in the morning for me. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. I'm tired. <laughs> Boy, that it's, it's, I feel like the spinners were on three days ago. I do. It's a long <laughs> show. <laughs> Aren't most shows like an hour? Well, listen, Suki leaves after an hour. So oh, I told you, you had that choice. You had the choice. <laughs> no, so, I, I really enjoyed everybody. this. It was the best. We'll see you tomorrow night, pal. Nice Can't to meet wait. you, Jake. Thank you guys. You too. <laughs> Take right, care. Bro. Oh, wait, they, hold on. Wait, wait. There we go. Uh, you were, you were so, going to get so, rid of me and keep Jake, weren't you? What'd you, what'd you think? What'd you think? <laughs> this was really fantastic. Honestly. I mean, what's better than getting to just talk to the people that you've loved listening to or that you see and hear and enjoy. I, I think that's just, it's a gift to be able to do this show, Scott. And people love you. I'm reading the comments and they're like, <laughs> you're amazing. This is amazing, this show. When is this going like worldwide? It is worldwide Listen, now? Well, it's world. It's worldwide now. Yeah. I told you we are, uh, we're on a couple different platforms, couple, which I know you're not really in tune with. You mean me. like Snap, Crackle and Pop or whatever yeah, no, they're that's, called? That would be, well, Crackle TV, we didn't start yet. That's a okay. huge platform. That's a Sony, that's a Sony platform. Oh, okay. Uh, but we're on, we're on Stir, which is owned by Sinclair Broadcasting. That's the biggest owner oh, of TV stations. In the I'm country. familiar with that name. Yes. Stir. Well, they have their own streaming platform called Stir. If you look at the look at the names that we're ahead of, Naomi. Wow. Heartland. Heartland. Deal or no deal, deal. or no deal. Now that in itself is just something yeah. to uh, be proud of there. Yeah. 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 The, <laughs> the, 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 the Johnny Wilson show even. Carson, What's the listen, guy's been dead for years. We're still, Honestly, we're still killing him. I love and, Johnny, um, but yeah. See the national desk down there. That's that's their national news program, and we're we're even ahead of them. Wow, this is you're onto something, Scott. So just yes. keep doing it and having the wonderful guests that you've been putting together. By here. the way, be before yeah. we leave, I got mm -hmm. I got to show you something because we put up we, we I put up a song with Phil the other day. Yes, because we're we're working with some friends of mine who have a great website. It's called HeroForLife.us, and I want to and and they have this amazing apparel. Um, because Phil is a vet and this yes. is, it, 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 all the proceeds go to disabled vets. Beautiful. So we put, we put it up the other day. I know some folks already went and bought shirts, but a lot of people, because there's so many scammers out there, they didn't know if it was really us. Um, but it is really us. And I okay. just wanted to show you. So we have like these, these gorgeous shirts. Oh, very all, nice. All for the vets. Right. So here's one that I bought. Wow. Um, Never very forget. moving then, yeah and and the shirts naomi they're they're so they're really like good quality i can't wear yeah. t-shirts unless they're really good quality so and they, have, really, they have so yeah. many different shirts for vets so i know phil nice was wearing certain. this one very nice yeah i know this is obviously very important to him and um yeah so i just but i just wanted to let our audience know that it's it's not a scam that is coming from us okay uh, hero for life it's it's heroforlife.us. Okay. And we have a we have a promo code just for this show. It's USA one. You literally before you even start buying, you put in the code, and every all the prices come up twenty percent off. Oh, that's so you get you get a twenty percent discount, and there's really cool stuff for women with like hearts, and yeah. hoodies, and it's, yeah. it's a huge selection. It's a it's a buddy of mine who started the website, and we 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 wanted to do it in conjunction with Phil. Because disabled vets is a big, you know, that's a big program for him. Yes, yes, so, and um, couldn't be a better time to do this too. So, yeah, that's, yeah. so you, you're gonna, we're gonna talk a lot about that, and then shows coming up when Phil comes back. We're gonna, I'm gonna start wearing the shirts on the show. Okay. But I just wanted our audience to know that it's not because again, there's so we get so many scammers. No, I hear you. Of our, of our of our audience are mostly female audience, uh, but this is really from us. And it's heroforlife.us. And if you put in the promo code USA1, you're going to see that there's tons of apparel and it's all great. It's not that crappy stuff you get, which is right. uncomfortable. I'm going to order and um, maybe uh, I really can have cool. it in time for the next uh, for, maybe next <laughs> for week. tomorrow. For not tomorrow. tomorrow okay. <laughs> yeah, but... All right. Well, listen, you're you're on with us. You're on tomorrow night. Yes. We got a great show. We have uh, uh, Orion Collins on. I, is that how you say her name? Or, or I believe so. Uh, you know what? I only know her as Phil Collins's Phil Collins' ex 
ex-wife. Ex and boy, uh, there's some crazy stuff going that's on. That's kind of a heavy duty story. We'll have yeah, to see yeah. how we're going to approach that. Hopefully tomorrow. we'll, hopefully we'll delve into it. Well, um, she, she may leave or hang up on us or something, but I hope not. The great Jake, Jake Thistle is going to join us again tomorrow yeah. night. Uh, and the one, one thing I didn't bring up tonight, which I wanted what? to get to was many, many years ago when you and I were, were in our, you know, what was it? Twenties maybe. Uh, we were in our, our late mid to late twenties. Yeah. Right, and I was just a young pup working on a local radio station in yes. Rockland County. I believe I sent you <laughs> this. <laughs> okay. Can we talk about this for this one second? This the audio hair. picture, those are your beautiful fingernails holding up that picture. Yeah, I know. What's I had I, I got this out of the um treasure trove of pictures from my past uh, as I was looking for, you know, stuff to put on the show tonight. What's and going I, on? Is, is my head really that ginormous? You have a, you could show a movie on your forehead, kind of. <laughs> but no, I'm teasing. I'm teasing. It's a, but I, you know what I love? Uh, hold brows. on, I got to get Suki back on the phone. The, the, the brows. <laughs> I love the brows. Oh, the brows, yeah. But I love how you sign it. Uh, you know, you're the greatest. Scott uh -huh. Stanford, RKL News. Yeah, RKL News. That was a big job for you back then. You were the news anchor at RK RKL. I was I was making two hundred dollars a week <laughs> as the as the morning news anchor on RKL. Wait, wait, you you had quite a past. You take yeah. out taxes. Uh, I was probably yeah. taking home like one forty, oh one forty a week, maybe. Yeah, look, look where you've come. Look and how look far you've come. come. Look how Honestly, far I've come. Oh, this is God. amazing. Hey, amazing. Okay. I'm World so proud World. of you, and I'm proud to be with Goober again. <laughs> why did we call each other Goober? I don't, I don't understand know. I don't why know. we did like, that. When we would talk on the phone, hey Goob, what's going hey, on? Goob. Hey Goob, I'd be like, hey Goob, hey yeah, Goob. Yeah. Did somebody right. did somebody say that? I don't know, but you know what? It's nice to be able to uh, share this time with you. I appreciate you thinking of me to uh, fill in for Suki. Um, and Do I uh... you remember the times <laughs> of your No, life. I think you've got to give me a spinner's tune. Now, be, don't be doing that. You've got to do a working my way back to you, babe. I can't the sing. Bag. I can't carry a tune in the bag. So I right, listen. I'm gonna. We're gonna leave everybody tonight. Okay. Um. We're gonna leave. I'm gonna sign us out. Yeah. Um. And I then you're gonna you. call me in. <laughs> I love you. We'll be back tomorrow night. Okay. We have another great show plan. And listen, no matter who's on, as long as we got Jake wrapping it up. Yeah. Pretty okay, good. Guys, All I want to know is I'm. I still have this job for the next couple of days. I didn't get you, fired. You, okay. You're not fired yet. All you're right. still good for tomorrow I night. I had some troubles at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't keep. I'll work on that. Up. We'll work on that, okay? And listen, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna get rid of us. I'll say goodbye to our audience, okay. but I'm gonna leave Thank everybody. You, I'm gonna leave everybody with this. Oh yeah, Philly kid, little spinners, working my way back to you, babe. I'm really sorry. Uh, uh, uh. I keep working my way back to you, babe, with a burning love inside. Yeah, I'm working my way back to you, babe, and the happiness that died, I let it get away. Ooh, 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 ooh. Been paying every day. Come on. When you were so in love with me. I played around like I was free Thought I could have my cake and eat it too But how I cried over losing you See I'm down and out But I ain't about to go living my life without you Hey, every day I made you cry I'm paying girl till the day I die I keep working my way back to you, babe With a burning love inside Yeah, I'm working my way back to you, babe And the happiness that died I let it get away Oh, oh, oh Been paying every day Oh, 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 oh I used to love to make you cry It made me feel like a man inside If I had been a man in reality 
You'd be here, baby, loving me. Now my nights are long and lonely, and I ain't too proud, babe. I miss you so, girl. Oh, you're too proud. You won't give in. But when I think about all I could win, I keep working my way back to you, babe. With a burning love inside. Yeah, I'm working my way back to you, babe. And a happiness that died, I let it get away. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Been paying every day. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, come on, everybody. You, babe. My road is kind of long. Ooh, 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 I just ooh, gotta ooh, get ooh. back you, home. babe. Oh, 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 I'm really sorry for acting that way. I'm really sorry. Ooh, little girl, I'm really sorry for telling you lies so long. Oh, please forgive me, girl. Come on. Won't you forgive me, girl? Hey, let's have romance. Oh, forgive me, girl. I want you over and over Come on, again. Me, Come on, I want Philly. You over and over and over and over again. Uh, uh, uh. I keep working my way back to you, babe. With a burning love inside. Yeah, I'm working my way back to you, babe. And the happiness that died, I let it get away. Ba-da. I keep working my way back to you, babe With a burning love inside I keep working my way back to you, babe Oh